Hello and welcome back to the fifth talk on composing music. We don't need all the notes of a major scale. We actually just need the first five and we have a pretty good idea of where we are. This is the five finger exercise which is so useful for pianists because it can be fit very easily into all the keys. And if I lower the third finger C minor. And that works for the left hand as well and works in all keys. I can really recommend that as a way to begin to really get around the keyboard fluently. And then we can talk about minor scales. They come in three sorts. There are the natural minor scales, which just use the notes of the key signature. Then there's a harmonic minor scale, which raises the, the leading note, the seventh step. Finally, there's the melodic minor, which behaves differently ascending than when it's descending. It goes up taking the higher of the two options, and comes down taking the lower. What we need to know is the first five notes are always, always the same. And then anything is possible. All of that is always part of C minor. The four basic scales that I really recommend you to learn, even if you're not a pianist, are A minor, which just uses the white notes. D minor, which has one flat, G minor, which has two flats, and C minor, which has three. Of course, the variations harmonic and melodic minor apply to all of those. Because of the variations, we have an awful lot of variations in the steps of the scale as well. All of them, except the tonic, have two versions. But the most common is that we find a second step is usually a diminished chord. The third step is usually major. The fourth almost invariably minor, and the fifth almost invariably major. This is where the harmonic minor scale comes in, because it takes the notes that come in the most important chords. The sixth step will almost invariably be A flat, and the seventh almost invariably B natural, not B flat, and going back into C minor once again. The sevenths are even worse because they don't have anything that seems to be governing them. Okay, all of these are possible in C minor, but once again, we do we can limit ourselves to the most common, and this is of course the second degree, like in the major, and in the fifth degree, the dominant. Also very important is this chord, which is the chord of the seventh degree with its seventh. This is the actual, this is the diminished seventh, whereas this chord is a so-called half diminished chord. This is a normal dominant seventh, half diminished because it has a minor seventh, and completely a diminished seventh has a diminished seventh degree. Modulations from minor keys can also go to the dominant, but more common is to go into the relative major key. That's the key with the same key signature, 
which is a major. In the case of C minor, it is E flat major. So it's very easy to get from C minor into E flat and back again to C minor. Modulation is always very, very easy if I take the dominant seventh to go into the new key, no matter what I have to do in the meantime to get there. This is a very, very good exercise. If you'd like to do this at the piano, please play it with this harmony. One, one, six, three, four, one, in second inversion, so that the G is at the bottom, then five, seven, and we're back in one. Once again, one, one, six, which of course in the new key of E flat major is the so that's a plagal cadence, it's the fourth step of E flat as well. Then we go with a little bit of a shock to F minor because we're going back to C minor. So the tune of the Moldo I'm sure you know. Those harmonies please and you'll see how a modulation works. Another exercise is this five finger exercise in major and minor and I ask all my piano pupils to do this in all keys. It won't hurt you. Okay? And then also to play the three minor scales of A, D, G and C in all their variants and with all their triads and seventh chords. That may take a little while to sort out, but it's well worth doing. Once you're fluent with those, you'll be very, very much more at ease with the piano. Uh, a good exercise to introduce the minor keys is 2-7, 7, 5-7, seven, 7-7. Seven, seven. So in C minor, 2-7, 5-7, 7-7. Get those sorted out, please. They keep recurring. And then you want the sequence, I can really recommend this. One, four, two with a seventh, and then five with its seventh, and going back to one. Once again, one, four, two with seven, five with seven, and one back in. And if you do all those in A, D, G and C minor, you really will be very fit. And there's only one more thing I'm going to ask of you, which is the perfect cadence, the plagal cadence, the imperfect cadence and the interrupted cadence in all those four minor keys. That's all for today. Written material, as always, by email if you want it.